uh, coming up, coming up in just a little while, we got uh, the, 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 the wonderful, the lovely, the talented Phoebe Robinson. Yes. Fantastic comedian. Oh, yeah. I love the two Phoebe. dope queens. She's great. And of course, our, our, our friend and CBS colleague Drew Carey is going to be here. Yeah. Host of uh, Price is Right. Host of Price is Right for the last 15 years. 50, 50th anniversary of the start of the Price is Right. Ooh, man. How many kids game. sick home from school? Oh, their afternoon enjoyment to that show. Oh my goodness! So much. I loved it. I used to so be much. there checking Very it out with grandma. Yes. Uh, what was that song you guys were just playing? That was uh, a version of Beethoven's Seventh Symphony. The theme from that. Wow! I did not realize Beethoven uh, was so hip. Yes. That's that swung in ways that I'm not used to Beethoven doing. Yeah, he's in there. You yeah. got to pull it out. What's what's now? How would how would it be classically played? Can you give me a just taste of that? And you just did. You got a vibe with it. Right there. That's an improvement. That's an improvement. Fly. You know, I spent a lot of time right over there, hand-raising and selecting the newest, most topical Seville oranges, carefully simmering them with turbinado sugar and pristine filtered water to create for you a double gold medal winning bittersweet English marmalade to spread on the perfectly toasted artisanal brioche that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, folks, I grab an expired tub of whipping cream, toss it in a blender with a half of a go-gurt I found in a schoolyard, and let that ferment behind the furnace while I fish a dried pita out of the gutter underneath the corn the corner kebab stand, then slather it with the unpressurized uh, nightmare dairy of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... It doesn't matter. It's so forgiving. Meanwhile, so forgiving is what it is. Meanwhile, <laughs> Bruce Springsteen guitar mafioso Stephen Van Zandt says he loved threesome so much in the 1970s that he developed a temporary addiction to menage a trois. That is the most bald attempt to hide a brag underneath being a victim. <laughs> Look, I knew I'd hit rock bottom when I realized I was a wealthy rock star having group sex every night with women who worshipped me sexually. If only someone had reached out. <laughs> or better yet, Two of them. <laughs> little Steven continued discussing his little Steven, saying, In the 70s, there's never been anything quite like it, honestly. It was just a wild, wild time, and the women were truly, truly liberated there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, but now that I'm 70, women no longer have group sex with me. When do they become so oppressed? <laughs> Meanwhile, we here at Meanwhile Global Shipping Enterprises and Secondary Market Meat Products sometimes find so many animal-related stories that we have to repackage them in our Meanwhile subsegment, Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile, for years, officials have been struggling to control the invasive lanternfly, and now they've raised the ante. As CBS News puts it, there's a beautiful spotted insect flying across the U.S., and officials want you to kill it. Whoa, 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 I cannot endorse the killing of things that are too beautiful. If we did that, how long could I possibly last? <laughs> Meanwhile, things got a little too educational at the Bronx Zoo last week when an adult gorilla was filmed performing oral sex on its partner in front of aghast zoo-goers. <laughs> Gorillas, please, go back to doing respectable, genteel things like hurling your poop at us. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to brace yourself. I'm going to show you the footage. In my new adults-only segment, Meanwhile, <laughs> After Dark. So... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Send the kids out of the room, but not to the zoo. <laughs> Jim? Oh, my God. 
goodness. These Planet of the Apes sequels are getting spicy. <laughs> so I gotta say, Andy Serkis is really committing to character. Now, apparently, this is not unusual. Scientists say oral sex is actually fairly common throughout the animal kingdom, with sightings of species ranging from cheetahs to bears and bats engaging in the salacious act. Adding, and we really need to watch a lot of animal oral sex for all the research and stuff. Please close their door on the way out. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Ohio, the Lewisburg Haunted Cave has reopened just in time for Halloween, which they claim is home of both ghouls and terrors and 30,000 live bats. Wait, you can't combine real horrors with fake horrors? Imagine walking through that with a scared kid. It's okay, honey. None of it's real, except for the bats. They're super real. But don't worry, there's only 30,000 of them. We'll be right back with Drew Carey.